Welcome. Thank you guys so much for stopping by Galadon Gaming today. We're talking about in the builder base using all archers. Now, my fellow clan member Mako, better get Mako. Anybody remember that? Sorry. Anyway, any my clan member Mako, he's been using this strategy and it doesn't work on every base. So, the consensus is no. Archers are not broken, but they are very powerful while they are cloaked, and that cloak lasts a long time at level 14. So Mako using it to his advantage right here on this, a very common base that we're seeing right now. Both crushers on the far side, and then the builder hall relatively close to a wall, sometimes even closer than this base right here, and it's ideal for the archers to get in as long as they can get in through the walls. Mako using the battle machine early. Notice it's only level 10, but it got the job done. Really just a wall breaker right there. Got that wall open and the archers are going to do the rest. On the opposite side of the base, you can see they are getting through the walls as well. Using that cloaked for maximum effect, getting the percentages on the far side and then on the near side, slowly but surely, Mako not going to have any problem, as you can see here, with over 20 archers left. He is just a couple of archers away from two stars. Here comes the first star as the double cannon goes down. And now just a few more archers down the middle will take out the builder hall. And then the rest are percentage archers just going out to pick off as many structures as they can. As you'll notice, he's gotten all of the low hit point structures out of the way. So he only has archers left to go after the cannons and the storages. But it's still going to work out. He's got 13 archers remaining. So the key to this attack, although it's not super exciting, is patience, it's planning, and it's precision. You need to know where those archers are going to path, and that can... Oh, there was another P in there. Patience, precision, planning, pathing, punching through a wall perfectly, taking down the village. So, again, not every setup is going to work out for archers, and uh, let me tell you, I failed a few times on my own trying out different bases. But a base like this that you can get through that wall on one side and get to the Builder Hall without needing any bombers at all is going to be a perfect victim for mass archers. Now, the good news for the game and the balance of Builder Hall right now is that, well, mass archers or mass anything isn't really generally an effective strategy. Now, you're not going to be able to use this again on every single base. Just like we don't see maybe Dirty Baby Dragon spam anymore. You don't see the usage of one troop very frequently, although it can work. Also, sometimes we see 100 Barbarians. But let's continue and look again at bases that might be able to be defeated by using only Archers. Because this is another relatively popular base right now at Builder Hall 7. And although the archers are not going to be able to reach things like the camp and the two elixir pumps at the bottom of the base, once they get some other stuff out of the way, you can always use that battle machine to punch through a wall. And again, archers can get the job done on their own as well. So here we go. A few more archers coming in after the double cannon on the right-hand side, after the cannons on the left. And yes, you've got archers working on walls, sometimes not very well coordinated. They obviously are related to the Archer Queen right there. Standing next to each other and firing in different directions. Finally, they punch through the wall here on the corner again. Because Mako got all of the defenses out of the area, the Archers were able to just grind those walls down on the right-hand side there. Finally get through. Now the Battle Machine doing the same job at the bottom. On the left-hand side, a little bit more difficult because you've got the guard post units and the archer towers, but you can see with the cloak up, some of the archers are indeed going after the wall, others going after the short range archer tower, which works out really well. Battle Machine obviously is going to finish these elixir pumps off and then head towards the inside of this base. And that's exactly what Mako needs to make sure that he gets the builder hall down because at this point, it's obviously no contest to grab 50%. He's got 20 archers left and he's at 45%. So it's a matter of getting through that other second layer of walls, getting in after the Builder Hall. Just a couple more and check it out. Top of your screen, the archers again punching through another wall. So look at this. Who needs bombers when you've got archers and a battle machine? There's four different openings into the core of this base. Plenty of archers left. The battle machine, plenty healthy, is of course going to get pretty severely damaged right about now by the giant cannon. 
but he gets in there and he actually gets some really good damage on the Builder Hall, and that just leaves a couple archers to get the job done. Mako already passing 61%, and at this level, Builder Hall 7, 5,000 to 6,000 trophies, when you're getting into the high 60s, you are going to be winning most of the time if you've got a good defensive base setup. Right here, Mako pushing all the way to 69%, can't quite grab another structure except for the mortar. Okay, so <laughs> pushing all the way to 74%, fantastic score right there. For some reason, I thought Mako ended that one at 69. Um, I don't know, I, uh, that number gets stuck in my head for some reason. All right, so here we go. Galadon trying to replicate the strategy, and this, yes, is the similar style base to what we saw at the beginning of the episode, but Hunter here has decided he didn't want to upgrade his walls. He thinks they're useless. Well, we'll see. It's going to help me out a little bit. Now, obviously, there is a double cannon being upgraded, but if you watch as the attack progresses, that double cannon being down isn't ever really going to make a difference in this battle. Now, these low-level walls, they definitely make a difference in this battle. The battle machine just crunches right through that outer wall. Archers working on the elixir storages. Battle machine finally goes down, but as you can see, just like Mako's first attack, I've got over 20 archers left, plenty of time to get through the three remaining structures that are in the way between me and the Builder Hall, and that's also going to get me that much closer to 50%. Now... Obviously, I'm an amateur at this, and it's taking me a while to get through these walls. Finally, I've got an archer locked onto an outer wall on the left-hand side, but it falls to the multi-mortar. Now the single cannon goes down. We are on our way to taking down the builder hall. Archers on the top right get through the other wall, so this outer wall stuff can be a little complicated. You just have to make sure that they are out of range of defenses. They're always going to be within range of the multi-mortar, at least in most cases, so you're going to have to count on the cloak time to help those archers get through the wall or attack from multiple positions at the same time. Obviously, the multi-mortar is only going to fire on one group of archers at a time. So Builder Hall just about to go down. Eight archers left. I'm past 50%. The guard post units are causing a problem on the right-hand side, but we've got the Builder Hall out of the way any second. There it is, 56% two-star. The final archers going in after the gold storages at the top and the bottom of the base. Looks like they might grab me a few more structures, trying to get into the 60% range. And sure enough, gold storage is down 64% two-star. Not bad for an all-archer noob. Uh, again, it's mostly the base, it's patience, and precision of placement. So let me know what you guys think. If you try out the all-archer strategy, if there's another all one troop strategy that is working for you, let me know and maybe I can share it in a future episode. And now let's pop on over to the comments. Some great comments on recent videos I wanted to highlight. First one from Slow Laura says, Great video, Galadon. I love the war attack showcases in the background. I want more, so let me know if you got amazing war attacks. I would love to share them. Russ Bozo, well, he says he's a bit of a skeptic about the new update, but he does agree about cooperation and communication. And he also says, those of us at Max Town Hall 11 need some love too. It's always, there. let me tell you, no matter what the update is, there's always going to be a group that feels slighted. It's just the way things work out. Master Lee says, nice video, Galadon, but be careful on hyping the update. Remember the Town Hall 11 update was hyped, and that's when so many quit Clash of Clans. Well, we'll see. Yes, again, in the video I did say that it looks good to me. But like always, I do have to qualify things because we have to wait and see. But I'm excited about the potential. And then last but not least, Kevin Biggs, kind of along those same lines, says I said the same thing about the Builder Base. But again, lots of people loving Builder Base. You cannot please everybody all of the time, just like your parents said. Thank you guys once again for spending a few minutes of your day here. And as you go out, be kind to other people. And remember, you can accomplish anything if you put your mind to it and make every attack a full attack. Gally don't, don't give them false hope. They can't do anything. They can't be as amazing as me.